Hi, I'm Janine and I'm with Pangolin Photo Safaris on the Toby River today. We've got an amazing subject grazing outside of the water, a hippo, together with his little egret friend. So I want to try and get the exposure as correct as possible. All right, let's have a look at him. We see the hippo out of the water, quite unusual. We get it a lot on the Chobi, but it's not their normal behavior. Normally they are nocturnal animals, so it's amazing to see the entire animal outside of the water. He always has a bit of bird life moving around him that benefits from him grazing because he's chasing up the insects and they get a lovely little high tea alongside the hippo. Let's give it a try. If I look at the hippo, he's got a beautiful gray tone. So I would keep my exposure roughly around zero. He's not too fast. We're shooting on a nice steady shutter speed. But if I look at our egret, the egret is blindingly white in this photograph. Very difficult to expose for both subjects correctly at the same time. So you're gonna have to decide, is it the hippo you wanna focus on or the egret? Same like with wedding photography, is the bride or the groom more important? Easy question to answer there, not so easy with our subject. On zero, let's try and give it a shot with the hippo. And he always has a little egret moving around his face. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a really nice, perfect exposure for the hippo, but you'll see highlight alerts in the egret. If you want to see the egret in more detail, you're going to have to underexpose the photograph. I'm going to try minus one. It's always nice if the egret actually is facing the hippo, almost like the two are looking at each other. Yeah, no more highlight alerts for our egret, but our hippo has turned out very, very dark. Given that the hippo is a much bigger subject in our photograph, I would focus on the hippo. I think it's a prettier photograph and just deal with the highlight alerts of the egret. In post-production, we can fix it a little bit. Hi, I'm Janine. I'm with Pangolin Photo Safaris in our editing suite today of the Pangolin Toby Hotel. Earlier this morning, we were trying to shoot a hippo on land that was chopping away happily together with his egret friend. And we were struggling with the exposure. So I want to show you in post-production what we can do with these pictures. Let's get started. All right, if you have a look at this photograph, this was one of the two photographs that I took this morning. We shot it a little bit brighter to get the exposure for the hippo ride, and then we shot it a little bit darker to get the exposure for the egret ride. What would be the best way to shoot? Well, if we look at the brighter shot here together, you'll see very quickly that this egret is completely burned. You'll see in the histogram you have a little bit of a peak on the right-hand side, and if I hover my mouse over the neck of the egret, you will see that the numbers underneath the histogram come pretty close to 100. We pretty much lost our egret. So if I go ahead and edit this, even if I pull my whites all the way back, uh, we could maybe savor him all the way down on the left hand side even, you'll see we don't want to see any whites when I pull the whites back while I press my Alt key. There we go, here he vanishes. And we don't want to see any blacks within our hippo, so I want to slide my black slider so far to the left that I don't see any blacks. In theory, that is supposed to be a perfect exposure. You see that there's still a little bit of a peak on the right-hand side. Maybe by taking my highlights to the left, I can get a little bit more out of my egret. Let's zoom in. There we go. We start seeing patterns of feathers within the egret. He's still fairly bright in comparison, so you see we do struggle to retrieve the white colors back, but we are getting better. We can take the overall exposure down just a little bit. And there we go. The hippo hasn't changed much, but we got a lot more information out of the egret that is standing next to him. Um, 
For the finished edit, we shouldn't forget to sharpen. I always mask my image when I sharpen them, so I don't sharpen the entire surface area affecting pixelation and grain in the surface, but I only sharpen the corners. Let's have a look together at the darker photograph. Looking at the darker image, you will see, yes, the hippo is way too dark. But zooming in on our egret, we have all the information we want in our little egret friend. Our feathers are clearly visible all throughout the egret. I'm going to go back here. That was the original image that I had imported. You will see I don't have to pull the whites back as much. I actually have to pull them to the right this time instead of to the left so that we don't have any white clippings. And I'm going to have to pull the blacks to the right this time as well, not to the left, in order to get rid of any blacks. There we go. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of shadows out so our hip hippo becomes a little bit more visible. And even though it's dark overall, I'm going to bring the highlights back in so our egret's feathers are becoming visible. You will see overall, this is a much darker image in comparison to our first image. I'm going to compare the two with each other. Let's have a look. We're going to compare R against A and pull that picture back in. Drag and drop. There we go. We're going to compare R against A and you will see that the first image is still quite a bit brighter than our second image. I still find that our hippo is a little bit too dark in comparison to our first image. However, we see our egret a lot better. So if we want to edit our active image a little bit more, I would take the exposure up a little bit. Double check that you don't have any whites showing. We don't want any white clippings because you don't want to lose the egret. There we go. Now these two look a lot more like each other than at the beginning. In general, for us, it is a lot easier to bring a dark image back to the bright colors. Once this white on the left is completely burned, it doesn't matter how far to the left you pull your white slider, the information is gone. So unless you shoot on a very high ISO where grain is a problem, try and shoot a little bit darker so you don't burn any highlights. However, if you do happen to shoot on an extremely high ISO, making your image brighter will show, will show all the grain in your photograph. So in that instance, in that particular instance, I would try and shoot a little bit brighter. You see, post-production helps us a lot in getting the two subjects much closer to a real exposure almost like we're looking at it with two different eyes. With our two eyes, we can layer images over each other and the hippo neither looks too dark nor does the egret look too bright. Post-production helps us with that. I hope this video helped you. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to subscribe. Press our little bell button if you want to get notifications for any new videos coming out. Thanks for joining me today and goodbye.